Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to shut down stuck tasks under Google Chrome's task manager. Check it out. Now that we're over here at the computer, we're going to jump into Google Chrome and show you how to access the built-in uh, task manager for Google Chrome. And just a quick rundown of what a task manager is, is it's simply just a manager that goes through and manages all of the different types of like tabs or processes or uh, systems built within a specific environment. So in this case, Google Chrome, Windows has their own task manager, and then of course, uh, Mac has their own task manager, but it is called Utility, and those will allow you to go through and, and manage all the different types of processes. So you're gonna want to bring up your Google Chrome, whether that's through your icon or through your start menu. In this case, I'm gonna use the icon. And we're gonna open up a few different tabs here. I'm gonna go to yahoo.com. And then we're gonna open up another one. We're just gonna to go to the Facebook tab. And what this is going to do is just kind of give you a little bit more information as to all the different types of processes that are currently running. So two different methods in order to access this. First, we're gonna show you how to access it through the actual menu. And then the second option is going to be a keyboard shortcut. So come up here for the first one, we're gonna go through the menu, click on the three dots in the top right-hand corner, hover down to more tools. If you hover over that, it's gonna pop out a little slide menu and you're gonna to want to come over, slide on over and go on down to Task Manager. And that's gonna open up a Task Manager for the Google Chrome, which is exactly what this video is about. So as you can see, it's got a, a bunch of different information listed in here. It has all of the different types of tabs and all of their subtasks or sub processes that are going on. So typically Google Chrome is known for hogging a ton of memory. And if you don't have a computer that has a ton of memory or at least a sufficient amount, there's a potential that certain processes or tabs could not respond if it's requesting a lot of information. So what you can do is you can open up this if you notice that it's freezing and you're gonna notice it's not on here because this is responding, but if it's not responding, you're typically gonna get a little uh, message that says not responding in parentheses. You can highlight that process and then come on down and click end process. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna end that process and everything underneath it so it kills the whole thing. And you'll notice over here on our Yahoo tab, since we've killed those processes, we're going to have to reload it by just clicking the refresh button and that'll reload and restart those processes. So again, that was just through the menu. The second option is to hit shift escape on your keyboard and it's gonna bring up the same, same window for the task manager. And once again, look for any type of processes that are stuck. If we click on the Facebook one and click end process, you'll notice we'll get that same message and we can just refresh the tab and have it restart those processes. So the benefit of that is sometimes even if you have a tab or something that's not responding and you click refresh and it's not working, then you can go ahead and open up the task manager, shut it down and then refresh it that way and it will force restart all of those processes. If you've refreshed the tab and you've gone through the task manager and refreshed or shut down the processes and refreshed it that way, and it still doesn't work, the last thing that you can do is go ahead and close Google Chrome completely, reopen it. The problem with that is if you have a bunch of tabs open, you typically will lose that progress and you'll have to reopen those tabs and re-sign into those accounts. So using the task manager will allow you to kind of troubleshoot a little bit further in depth and find out exactly what's causing the issue before you have to actually shut down Chrome completely. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked the video, give it a like and a share. Leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you next time.